there my lovelies this is jenna here welcome to my channel how you've been doing good i hope so here everything is cool apart from these uh, weird craziness that we're living nowadays but this shall pass and today i'm going to bring to you a very interesting recipe you have been asking me a lot about the banana peel recipes so i brought another one for you and this one is like the proof that banana peels can be eaten um, on its own and it doesn't need much because it is perfectly edible and I'm gonna show you how I made it. So here are the peels of the bananas that I've used for my morning breakfast. I kept them in a the fridge for three days I think or if you can't wait and you wanna peel the bananas right away I'm gonna leave here on the cards a few recipes that you can use um, with the bananas with the fruits. Now if you wanna know uh, how ripe the banana uh, should be for you to be able to uh, use it for a banana peel recipe. I'm going to leave a chart with that on my website. I put all the uh, ripeness, I think you can say that, and uh, what is the best kind of banana peel for what kind of recipe. Of course, you're going to, before anything, you're going to wash it very well in um, running water and then put it in a solution of uh, five parts water and one part vinegar or uh, baking soda because it uh, removes all the dirt and the nastiness and then it's good to go. And now we're going to make a marinade because this is going to decide if your banana peels are going to taste like fish or not. But um, and it all depends on what you put inside. I have used the uh, nori sheets but you can use kombu wakame, whatever kind of a seaweed, and it works just fine. Honey, say goodbye to this honey, cause I've had enough of you now. Baby, say goodbye to this baby, cause I've had enough of you now. So long, so long, farewell, farewell, I'll be heading out on my own. This is the Okay, so now we're going to let it marinating for as long as you can. I mean, the longer it stays here marinating, the better it's going to taste. So that is completely up to you. I've let, left mine. I usually leave mine for uh, three to four hours or overnight. Okay, so now we're going to bread it. What I have here is breadcrumbs. Mine is seasoning, but yours don't have to be. It's just what I had laying around in the house. And then I have unsweetened soy milk with potato starch and a little bit of flour. And then I have plain flour. And then you're going to add to either one of them or the three, uh, a little bit of uh, spices, a little bit of herbs. Um, you can add a little bit of kelp powder again. You can add Old Bay spices um, uh, seasoning. That's what I did. And uh, whatever it is that is your preference. And uh, I promise you it's going to turn out delicious. If you add more of the, any kind of seaweed uh, combined with the Old Spice. This is perfect. It can be made in the oven. Yes, it can be made in the oven and it can be made in the air fryer. It tastes delicious in the air fryer. I don't own one, but I know it can be done this way. Now look at these guys. I promise you, you are going to love it because this is so delicious. Oh, but you China, it's banana peels, it's not fish. I, I know, but uh, I mean, who cares? We're playing around, we're experiencing 
uh, in the food, we're doing experiments, we are having fun and we can eat and we can make whatever we want because this is our food, right? This is our kitchen, so do whatever you want. I mean, who cares? It's your food. And I also made a tartar sauce, which is super easy. You get a vegan mayonnaise and then sweet relish, horseradish, and a little bit of lemon. And if you want, you can spice it up a little bit with some uh, white pepper. And this is it. This is amazing. It's super, super crunchy. I absolutely, I already took a bite. <laughs> I couldn't wait. I absolutely love it. Oh. Mm. There's this a taste. Like, um... I have put a little bit of the um, kelp powder in the breadcrumbs and it was like brilliant. I'm not a fan of fish. I have told you that many times. So I didn't go heavy on that because I didn't want that super fishy sea taste on it. But if you want, just go for it and make it. And oh my God, <laughs> isn't this so weird? I love it, don't you? <laughs> so this is it for today. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Don't forget to tag me on my Instagram and Facebook um, if you make one of my recipes. I absolutely love when you do that because you're geniuses. And uh, apart from that, follow me on my Instagram and my Facebook. And um, this is it. I'll see you next time. Have a wonderful week. Be kind to each other. Until then, bye.